measure of central tendency is the central value or the typical value for a probability distribution. These include the mean, the median and the mode. So let's take a look at these. The mean of a set of scores, abbreviated M, is the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores. In other words, it's the average. Let's look at an example. Here we have a small data set with seven values. The first step is to add up these values, then we divide them by the number of scores, in this case seven, and this gives us a value of 8.57, which is the mean from the, for this data set. Now the mean is by far the most commonly used measure of central tendency, but it is affected by extreme values or outliers within a data set. The median refers to the middle value. It is the 50th percentile of a distribution. So let's look at an example. Here we have the same small data set as before with seven values. The first step is to place these in order. Then we can identify the value at the center of the data, in this case, eight. So the median for this data set is eight. Unlike the mean, the median is not affected by extreme values or outliers within a data set. The mode within a data set is simply the value which appears the most often. If you were to look at a frequency histogram, then it would be the highest bar. In our example, the most frequent value is 7. This is therefore the mode for this data set. The mode, like the median, is not affected by extreme values. However, in some cases, the data may be bimodal. This means that you will have more than one mode.